Yeah, still gotta try and get those other four on there. Maybe that one, the top two. Work's not done yet. Well, it's about two weeks later since I did that video and uh, here's that cross arm. Went down this morning and uh, basically just cut the whole thing off the pole. Um, thankfully none of the insulators broke. We did take a bit of a gamble on where it, uh, whether it would land on the rocks or on the, uh, the soft grass. And thankfully it landed on the grass right next to the, uh, the pole. And uh, got four good insulators on it. They're all made by Costa Products, 1960s. These ones are actually earlier. These are from the other uh, the other hunt that I went on a while ago. But essentially, it's all off the same pole. That's uh, 1960s, 1960s. You can't really see that one. That's actually 1975. But, uh, a few subtle differences in terms of uh, these ones and uh, the new ones that I got. Uh, these actually have insulated copper wire, while well, these it's just the bare, which is then bound straight onto the uh, the insulator. While well, these have got um, what well, feels like a plastic or maybe even a uh, rubber coating over the uh, the main transmission wire, and then they've got the wire work holding it onto the uh, the groove. It's a uh, very interesting in terms of how they actually tie it on. It's a um, you got the main wire that goes across, and then you got this uh, flat copper strap which they wind around it, and then they wrap this thinner wire around that, and that holds the whole lot onto the uh, the groove of the insulator, and uh, holding it for 60, 70 odd years and not coming off is actually a, uh, obviously a very effective way of doing it as well as being somewhat flexible but um yeah it's the same with all of those uh, I'm not actually going to take the wire off and I don't even think I'm going to bother taking these off the uh the cross arm I'm going to leave the whole thing as it is but uh yeah when you if you do do it yourself uh, by all means collect insulators but uh don't take these uh off of poles that could still have um live wires going on them because it does count as railway property and tampering with it results in a twenty thousand dollar fine i got away with it because the poles i was rating were not on our railway property so do be careful of that yourself but uh of course by all means i uh, have fun when you do it it's only the vandals are going to shoot the bloody thing so you may as well but uh other differences uh well, for starters, how easy they are to come off. I know a lot of the others were actually seized on, while these ones all come off. I've had them all off and cleaned out. But, uh, these actually have polyethylene plastic threads on, not, uh, cast lead like these earlier ones do. As you can see, we'll pair the two up. There are... Uh, I don't know if it actually is polyethylene or not. It's what it feels like, but it's just been cast or moulded straight onto the, uh, the peg. Same way as they do these. But, uh, it's interesting, uh, one way or another, but, um, these must either be a retrofit in the 70s, considering this one's actually 1975, while, uh, those ones must have been older, because they've got a, a, a different design of, um, the holding lug as well. It's a lot thinner and smaller on these ones. Then they, I know uh, for a fact my uncle told me they decommissioned the whole power line in the 1990s sometime then so they've been sitting for us uh, since then uh, completely not used so I might as well uh, get the whole lot <laughs> but sadly I didn't get those brown ones they're far too high up on the pole to be able to um, reach them with the pole saw we were just going to actually cut it like cut each individual one off but we just couldn't uh, couldn't really be bothered with it there's a couple of others that I've got as well. There are crossovers from uh, South Australia. I, uh, when I went over there, we did a bit of hunting uh, there as well and found these near an old railway track. And uh, those started off like that uh, nut there with that washer, completely rusted. And uh, with a bit of a wire brush and some zinc paint, they've come up nice. So I'm going to uh, find a bit of hardwood to make up into a mock-up cross arm and put these on it. And uh, probably even put these with it, I don't know. But, uh, got that one as well, that CCG, uh, I think it was something crystal glass from what I, uh, remember it being, but there is tons of info on these on the internet, but they're the equivalent to these ceramic ones, just made by CCG in Canberra, Australia, 
spot. Just thought you'd like to see that. Um, yeah, play it safe when you uh, do go hunting yourselves. Apologies for the camera dying. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a video on this. Thank <laughs> you.